So we're back. I quickly had to skip through some dialogue to get back to where we were meant to be. She's a way off to get whatever Dr. it was. Will see you. Hey, you're not here. He's waiting for you in his office. Up the stairs, all the way down the hall, until the last I door. guess she came back and said, What a surprise. It's enough to mention Wessler's name and all the doors are open. I wouldn't want to get mixed up in this, but do you think Albert is in danger? Danger? What do you mean? When was this? We oh, we were talking about something in Discord just before the stream. And we're really, really worried. I see. Uh, we don't know yet, miss, but let's hope for the best. Great wild ones protect him. Where is he? Snake. No idea, Marty. Snake. The smell ugh, of all that's furry. I'll never get used to it. Well, reptiles have a disgusting body odor, Marty, but they feel exactly the same about us. Exactly. Great wild I don't ones. like him. You scared the hell out of me. I already sensed your arrival from afar. You know. Snakes have a different sense of smell, and birds used to be our prey once upon a time. Well, yeah. Luckily, we're living in civilized times. Lucky. Please, take a seat. How can I help you, gentlemen? Gross. Why do you have bars on your windows? Because it's a room like all the others, and I'm just an animal too, like all our residents. What is this game? We're checking With police trying to solve a murder. The difference of you being a doctor and not a patient, am I right? It's not as big of a difference as you'd think. Your office is uh, rather Puritan. <laughs> Simple, I mean. Ain't that the truth? Well, yes. I can't let my mind wander from my work. Hello, I Kenny. only keep what's essential in my office. I see. That makes sense. An isle of reason in a sea of insanity. Insanity is such a strong word, and it's mostly an abstract idea. Where does insanity start, and how long is one not insane? Interesting question. Why would a snake have arms and hands? Am yeah, I wait a minute. Normal, or are you? Maybe neither of us. You see, that's something I think about a lot nowadays. If you like, I can give you an appointment. Oh, this is your chance, Sonny. Don't miss it. We're already here. Marty, clock up. Yeah, let's actually talk to Dr. Quetzalotl. To be honest, gentlemen, your visit is anything but a surprise. I could even say I was expecting it. Yeah, the next extra is to expecting. Please forgive me. I have the bad habit of immediately getting into the middle of things. How very rude of me. My no name shows. is Dr. Sessuous Quetzalcoatl, but most call me Dr. Quetzal to keep it simple. The name is Santino Featherland, and this is my partner, Martin McChicken, from... From the Predatory Division of the Clawville Police Department. Your fame is. Why did one police have three C's? That's not an S sound. Uh, we're used to it. Certainly. We have some questions about one of your patients, if you don't mind. We'd like to talk to him, if that's possible. Please be specific, Detective. Look, Doctor, we're too tired to play cat and mouse. Not that snake and chicken sounds any better. Very funny, I must say. Just what I expected from you two detectives. We know you know it's about Albert Wessler, Ibn Wessler's secret twin. Ever since we've said his name, all the doors have miraculously opened. That's what we call a bullseye. Well, yes. Why should I deny it? We're talking about a rather illustrious patient here. Coincidentally, I believe this is the second last chapter going by the achievements. Case. Because there's one more that specifically more names an act, which is probably this so act, and then there's one that says get the ending. Him? 
Because Albert regrettably has disappeared and you are police detectives, I have no reason not to talk to you. Of course, I'm at your service. That is a terribly written sentence with very strange punctuation. information about my patients. Not even if it's a matter of life and death. Everything's a matter of life and death in here, detective. This is a hospital, even if it's primarily for the mind. I do plan to finish it today. Body. I don't think there's that much Still, left. I'd like to give the impossible a try. Could be wrong. Please, but I've been playing for six hours, and I can't imagine it's that big. Just do big. your job, and I'll do mine. How long was Albert a resident of the institution? For quite some time, his first symptoms surfaced in his teens. Depression, panic attacks, and schizophrenia. Was he brought here immediately after the first signs that something wasn't right? You know, the biggest was he born in 2020? Is opinion on insanity is that animals are ashamed of it. That's the reason our institution stands out here in the middle of nowhere. Because animals would rather hide what they're afraid to face. I couldn't have said it better myself. As far as I know, the Wessler family wasn't exceptionally wealthy. Indeed, they were rather poor, but we offer our services gratis. Then how do you sustain yourselves? By the grace of the treasury of King Hector III, of course. I wouldn't have guessed that. My family and the royal dynasty had always been on good terms, Mr. Santino. Mm, I'm going to finish asking before I go straight to questioning. What kind of a place is this exactly? I assume it wasn't built as an insane asylum. It used to be a mansion. Construction started during the occupation in 622. Is it going to be the mansion of the then cat family that got wiped? No, that's a different country, wasn't it? a century until finally it went to the crown of Clovio when Hector's great grandfather. Thank you, Magpie, for 37 months for the tier one sub. But indeed. History. How long have you been working here? I've worked here for more than 30 years, but it's been in my family's possession for almost 150 years. So if I count correctly, as soon as Someone it went to the, the crown, work. it was seized by your family. That's almost accurate, Mr. Featherland. It was in furry Russia. A lovely Fair inheritance. Sora, what are you barking at? Tell me, Doctor, do you know <coughs> Madame Zavas? Well, Just like everybody else, I've heard of What her. is this game? But I never he plays chicken police solving a murder. In person. I'm sure she's an interesting case. I did see the new trailer for oh, Rise, yes. Sure about that. I'll talk about it more once Valnor doesn't have the, the lurgy. A spare cell would suit her very much. Is that so? As it turns out, she likes small, narrow, secret places. Oh, I see. What a coincidence. Why do you look at his watch? Oh, oh no, I missed his... Okay, hang on. A real mystery you can turn that to my advantage. I just need to focus on the strangest pieces of the puzzle. So when did Albert become a resident of your institute? Albert and Hobart, or Ibn as you call him, arrived here almost exactly four years ago. Could you describe that day uh, more specifically? It was not long after New Year's Eve. Maybe the first week of the year, if I'm not mistaken. It was sleeping He's swaying like a snake. Day. Wind was banging incessantly on the windows. The power was going out for short periods of time. What was your first impression of them? I already knew the Wessler name. I knew who they were. Or at least I knew one of them. Hobart Wessler. He was famous. Gangster, moneylender, celebrity, lover. And Albert? He was new to me, an invisible grey ghost. The family had tried to keep his existence a 
secret. Wow, just because he got Why? depressed once? Because they were ashamed of him, of course, Mr. Featherland. That's how it usually is. What was your first impression of him? He was silent, but observed everything that surrounded him. His eyes were constantly moving, never stopped for a second. Was he afraid? I wouldn't say so. It seemed to me that he wanted to move into our institution voluntarily. It looked as if he couldn't wait to be here, alone, locked up in silence and darkness. Didn't you think of that as unusual? Of course I did. But who am I to judge? It was rather special treatment. Are you to judge? You're a doctor. What kind of special treatment did Albert get? You know, if an institution like ours has to accept a Wessler as a guest, there's bound to be some favoritism. And complete secrecy, I guess. Yes, but that's the case for all our patients, Mr. Featherland. Of course. So in what way did he receive more than the others? Basically, we don't admit anyone into our institution without a complete and thorough prior assessment. In the case of Albert, we put that aside. Is that legal? So you didn't even know if he had anything wrong with him? Initially, no. He was more of a guest than a patient. Interesting. Do you think he was a threat to others? He didn't seem like that at first. He was fragile, frail, overwrought. I would have labeled him as a threat to himself, but not to others. And later, when you came to know him better. Albert had certain seizures. We found that out quite soon in that surprisingly cold winter. During those times, his personality distorted. He became almost someone else entirely, almost unrecognizable. Oh, he must have played cyberpunk. Are you telling me Albert had multiple personalities? We found out very quickly that there was no other reason for the cause of his seizures. He had a cold and calculating personality who sometimes, especially on stormy days, took the reins. That door that got killed, wasn't it raining mind. on that evening? Because the people he were wearing rain slicker things. Yes, Mr. Featherland, but they started to intensify after Albert left our institution for the first time. He did what? Left the institution? More than once? Oh, yes, Mr. Featherland. Albert left the institution on several occasions until the last time when he failed to come back. Wetzel's not only very observant, but he's addicted to details. I must focus on that if I want to get closer to the truth. Focus. Addicted to details. Okay, details. When and why did Albert leave the institution? That's the most for the specific first time? answer for a question, rather. It was about two years ago. Mr. Hobart Wessler appeared and demanded we let his brother go free. Naturally, we obliged. We had no idea if we'd ever see him again. But you did. He returned the same day. Albert was ecstatic. He was unrestrained. I could almost say <laughs> happy. That was unusual for him. I had never seen him like that before, Mr. Featherland. He just smiled and stared at They'd the swapped empty places. wall for hours. Did he ever tell you what happened to him outside? No, of course he did. Albert and I had a good relationship. He was working on a painting for his brother. 
Was it a painting of a lovely lady cat? Oh, exactly. So you already knew about that. Yes, Dr. Quetzal, I've seen it. Okay. I guess that's the most specific one again. Has Albert ever talked to you about Natasha? Only in superlatives. Oh, he remembered he to start running his S's again. Person, but an ethereal being, about an angel or a demon. Something that is not of this world. And what did you think about his uh, fantasies? We are in an institution where almost everyone is hallucinating on a daily basis, Mr. Featherland. It didn't really bother me, but the fluctuations of positive and negative were more disturbing. Thanks, Doc. I didn't understand a word, but I think I get the point. That was the wrong one. Yeah. So Albert left on many occasions to continue working on the painting. Exactly, Mr. Featherland. Every time he came back, he was like a different person. But unfortunately, his seizures also multiplied and became more dangerous. More dangerous? Albert was hurting himself. And on one occasion, he even tried to hurt me. It was unprecedented. It seemed his confined personality was taking over their shared mind entirely, piece by piece. Sorry, it's not in a good mood today. Do you think the painting caused it? Not the painting, Mr. Featherland. But its subject. Exactly. He was obsessed right until that fateful day when he returned to us for the last time. What exactly happened that day, Doctor? It wasn't Hobart who brought his brother back that day, but two of his gorillas. Not literally, I mean. And Albert was in a terrible, terrible state. Broken what jaw? What happened to him? I don't like to talk about that, Mr. Featherland. <clears throat> it could be vital to the case, Dr. Quetzal. Don't back down. Oh, you're right. There's no use. Oh, that's convenient. Back now. So, Albert's tongue was torn out or cut off, I don't know exactly. And he was blinded in one eye. Or rather, one of his eyes was missing entirely. So you're saying was Albert was brought back horribly mutilated? Yes. And they didn't give any explanation as to what had happened. They simply. I kind of don't like that it feels like the main kind of twist in this you can see coming a mile away. It's so obvious I'm wondering if I'm being duped and there's some other confused. thing. Maybe it's cruel, but I must exploit his vulnerability if I want to learn everything about Albert. Focus. Confused. Hmm. It's one of these two. You didn't believe Albert had an accident, is that right? Of course not. I'm not naive. I knew immediately that Albert had been severely battered, and I was sure it had been his brother, Hobart. Well, we don't know that, Dr. Quetzal. Would you defend a monster? Take it easy, Doc. One of the most critical elements of my job is not to make assumptions. You've made multiple You're assumptions so far. You're right, Mr. Featherland. I'm sorry I got carried away. It's all right. Happens to everyone. Mm. These are both the same question. Concentrate, Doctor. What do you think happened to Albert? I'm sure it was Hobart. He ordered his men to mutilate poor Albert. But why would he do that? 
Maybe Albert saw something he could accidentally reveal. To whom? The four walls? A couple of crazies? You? To anyone, Mr. Featherland. I don't think it's that simple, Doctor. But thank you for your honest opinion. You're welcome, Detective. What happened then? How did Albert disappear? A few weeks later, Hobart came to visit Albert one more time. Albert had been in terrible condition by then. We even had to transfer him to another cell, a more safe one. What did Hobart do during the visit? He didn't do anything. He just sat and watched his brother, who was <sighs> in an almost vegetative state by then. Couldn't you manage to draw anything out of him? You or Hobart? Nothing. For a while, he was trying to signal something. Perhaps he was too afraid. Almost like he couldn't write that the, his had been place had been too, switched with his twin so brother or something. Right. Do you think Hobart could have killed Albert? It's horrible to Why is the person I'm playing as always stupid? <laughs> Of it. How did he if this feels like Ellie and R over again. Did someone come for him? That's what's most eerie about it all, Mr. Featherland. He simply disappeared. His door, which only I had a key for, was open. Did anyone see anything? No one. We interrogated the staff, even the patients. He simply vanished off the face of the wilderness. We don't know what happened to him. Unfortunately, I have a hunch. Thank you, Doctor. You've been a great help. Oh, well, I'm glad I could be of help. But please, I now must attend to my work. We understand, Doctor. Thank you. Hello, Crispy. game still doesn't want me to know the obvious twist. Okay, fine. I can't leave though, so... How do I leave the room? Maybe I can ask him about this stuff? Why did you keep that wristband? That's quite shocking information. I think you understand why we kept it a secret. If it wasn't for Mr. Wessler's demand, we'd never let any of our patients walk freely outside our institution. Then the, uh, the accident happened. Accident? Tales old as time, yeah. didn't believe it. Not for a second. You missed a chance After to do wordplay there by doing tail as in T-A-I-L. He was Thank you, Serenity, for gifting a tier one sub to Kitty. How? If someone got one of his eyes poked out and his tongue torn out, he'd be different, but not like this. Albert was a different person. No we shit. believe you, Doctor. So, can we take a look at Albert's cell? I'd rather call it his room. Mr. Wessler lived in exceptional circumstances. Thanks yeah, but that's just it. Now I'm doubting it because they're spelling it out so yes. hard. Well, we try well, don't to make all of our patients stay as comfortable as possible, but Albert certainly enjoyed mm, special favoritism. I hope you don't mind if we take a look around in there. That's not going to bother anyone. Well, that's, uh, surprising. I've never seen a cell like this before, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind living here myself. It seems that being a Wessler gets you privileges. And a healthy dose of danger. Mostly that, yeah. Let's take a good look around. I'm sure we'll find some answers here. I can almost smell them. Well, I smell... <laughs> Paint? Ink? Plaster? Some kind of 
oil, aging paper, slight smell of rat, and... Well, the snake forgot to roll his asses for a little while. What the but then Dickens? they went back to it. Unmistakable. Yeah. This place is bad for you, pal. But if you've already jump-started your beak holes, then sniff out the solution. I'm on it, boss bird. Identical twins. And looking at it, they may have easily loved the same woman. Two men and one woman. Nothing good ever comes of that. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't say that exactly. Of all the wild ones, Marty, please, stitch up your beak, okay? Just use ah, your imagination, for your old bird. Joke. Scribbles, newspaper articles, study papers, poems, perfect chaos. Just like the troubled mind of a troubled fella. Yeah, but there's still a kind of order in it. It's just too intricate for you to comprehend. If you say so, boss. Look at that. A letter. Now can open it. Identical twins. And looking at Okay, yes, he already said that part. Uh Is there a hidden code in this? Because some of this looks more bold than the rest. He was writing that to the cat. That's why he changed places, because he loves her. Albert was madly in love with Natasha and would have done anything for her. I'm afraid he did exactly that. Oh wait, so he does know. What do you make of this? Apart from the fact the guy was totally insane? I don't know. What should I? That maybe we've been chasing the wrong person all this time, Marty. What do you mean? Everything will be revealed soon. <clears throat> Why do you have to be so melodramatic all of a sudden? If I'm right, This'll flip the whole case upside down. What's that, Sonny? A blurb from some horrible novel? I just have to think things through before I come to any hasty conclusions. Oh yeah, we won't want to come to any oh, hasty conclusions. You're killing me. So, what now? Where to? Back to Clawville, where we can finally put all the pieces together. <sighs> you're driving me crazy. But all right, let's go home. This isn't home, this is the snake's office. Hmm, not allowed to go anywhere, okay. Oh, I don't believe this. Those two again? Take them out. My car won't last much longer. Don't worry, Sonny. I was born to do this. This minigame again? Yep. Reload! Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake! Can you drive like you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow! Hey, I, I can't shoot from this camera angle. What's going on? Are you blind or what? Where did you learn to shoot? That didn't seem particularly fair to me. Oh, I didn't realize I have a separate health bar. It's fine. Got plenty of time. No, you're not allowed to shoot them in the face. It gives you game over. I did that the first time. My taste, and it only strengthens my belief. Wessler is desperate. He knows if we survive, he's done for. Well, come on. What did you work out? Will you tell me already? Sure. Let's put the picture together. Yeah. Piece by That's the piece. second time that many games been here. Let's start from the beginning. So, we got a case. Oh right, we got a case from her. Yeah. Could 
be important, but not now. Almost, but not quite. Okay. <clears throat> Natasha tried to show us the painting. Painting would have shown us the way. Uh. <clears throat> oh, no, none of these are right, though. Gibbon and Albert okay, Wesson, the most of eight. Albert painted Natasha, so he met her on more than one occasion. Born but not that. Almost but not quite. Fatal love. Which made Albert. That's wrong? Oh, it just had to be more specific, okay. And on a fateful night, he killed his brother so he could take his place in secret and win Natasha's heart. So what happens now? The inevitable, Marty. We're going to the Wessler Mansion to confront Ibn with the facts. You mean Albert, right? Yeah, exactly. And of course, Natasha. Do you think she knew about it? Something stinks, Marty. It the seems so, seems but yes, exactly. It seems too on the nose. Too many coincidences, right? Well, well, after ten years, you did learn It seems something, too obvious. Nine. <laughs> You're right. Huh. What? You just laughed, Sonny. What? No, I... I... I snorted. No, you laughed. Ah, just leave it, Marty. <laughs> I'll be telling this to my grand chicks. <laughs> All right, pal, that's enough. Okay, okay. So, Albert fell madly in love with Natasha and decided to have her for himself. And his best chance was to trade places with Ibn Wessler. So that's why the torn out tongue. Yeah, Ibn couldn't squeal even if he wanted to. What a diabolical I still doesn't explain who's been writing like the horrible messages to Natasha, but it could be his but schizophrenic other personality. Then? Oh, exactly. Why the threats? Albert got what he wanted. He could have got away with it. I'm not a psychologist, Marty, but remember what the doctor told yeah, us. Yeah, okay, never mind. Albert has a seriously injured mind and a split personality. I think his two a seriously injured mind. He got depressed once. Each other. So the messages were written by one of his personalities. Oh yeah, she could have done it deliberately jealousy? to try and get help Something secretly, like that, yeah. Marty, but we can only learn the whole truth from him. You're right. Yeah, let's go question so, a dangerous are we going or what? split We're personality going, Marty, rat. to finally finish what we started. Well, if there's anything you'd like to do before, do it now, boss. It's the point of no return. You won't have a chance later. You're right, Marty. It's time to wrap everything up. Yeah. Hey, Lewis. You weren't awake all night because of us, were you? I've never been this excited, Sonny. Seriously, it is a great honor to be part of the team. Hmm. What is it? You, Lewis. You don't stutter anymore. What? Just now, you you didn't stutter. Not even a little. Oh. I must be exhausted. It happens sometimes. And it's b b back. So that's uh, not acceptable. Thanks again, Lewis. You Don't make fun of the rabbit star. Of trouble. Come on, b b b boys. Don't even mention it. It is me they killed who is Deborah? grateful they to will, be, be part of an adventure of the chicken police. Maybe. Yeah, the bunny is still suspicious. Hey, Sonny. Don't spoil his mood, he's so cute. 
apart. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. You remember Dead that show? piece with the goat? Uh, which one? When that demented wolf devoured the kids of a young goat mother, and in revenge, she cut open his stomach and filled it with rocks. Do I remember? I'll never forget it. Hell, that was a slaughterhouse. As far as I know, she even took the remains of the kids with her. But how did that come to mind? This was that shop. The goat mother was running it. They found Isn't the, the goat mother in here. a character from this? Undertale? This one exactly? Good gods. Yeah, before it was closed down. When there was still some life here. Not even that now. Just the void. Yeah. Spooky place, that's for sure. Still, I love to live here. Sonny, you're creepy. Shut up, Marty. Did you forget anything, Sonny? Uh, you told no, me to go I do just anything I felt I'd like. Take a look. Might be the last time I see it. You becoming sentimental? Who knows? Maybe I am. Oh, that's cute. Should I say it? I know, Sonny. I can still get out. But you won't. On the beak. Thanks, pal. Forget about it. I'd be bored to death otherwise. I'm not reading that. I <laughs> love. Where's the weekend house to place? Uh, oh, maybe I have to talk to him in the street, actually, so these are all optional. I want to see if that fly will talk to me. Ah, you know, Sonny, few places are as cozy as the hop dog at dawn. You have a point. The silence, the fog, the sunshine slowly devouring the sleeping city. The smell. Yeah. The Cobbler District has its own distinctive aroma, that's for sure. But wait, do you smell that? Ah, it seems Zip is ready with the first batch of coffee. That's waiting only for us, my friend. Oh no, the fly's dead or gone. One of the two. Well, he's out. He's brave indeed, or an idiot. They're often the same, Marty, and you should know. <laughs> Hello, Zip. I see they kicked you out. You know, Sonny. They told me I could stay in there for 48 hours if I wanted. Well, maybe you should have done that. Shit, I had enough. Fuck it! You understand? When you interrogated me, you opened my eyes. I don't give a shit about him, about Wessler and his henchmen. Let them come if they want. It's not gonna be easy for them. You can be sure of that. That's the zip we know and love. Thanks, Marty. So, uh, why are you here? One last coffee before the end. Are you going to get him? We don't have a choice, Zip. We're grabbing the hey, rat run by the tail. Out. No screwing around. No playing at nice. Ah, I see Ibn's really got to you. Just Sonny. I'm like this all the time. Yeah, that's true. Did I get the coffee? Okay, I'm gonna presume I got the coffee. Well, if we have anything else to ask the old beaver, this is the last chance. Hey, don't steal my style. Just learning from the best. Let me give you some advice. Don't. Sure, why not? Does the name Albert mean anything? You might actually get information that changes the ending somewhat. I know somewhat. multiple Alberts, Sonny. Which one do you mean? Albert Wessler. I see you're in a funny mood, Sonny boy. I'm not joking, Mullen, but I'm surprised there's something I know and you don't. Hmm. And, and who is this Albert, anyway? Ibn Wessler's hidden son, maybe? Even better, my friend. His secret twin brother. <laughs> You've walked into trouble there. I was hoping you could tell me something useful about him. I, I can, sonny boy. Avoid them. Avoid the whole Wessler family. Oh, hello. Those who happen upon secrets that deep sink without a trace. Well, I used to be a professional swimmer, didn't you know? No, I didn't. I lied. 
I lied. This Albert, he had to paint a picture of Natasha at his brother's request. Uh, let me guess. He fell in love with her. Yeah, classic, huh? Then he killed his brother and took his place. Yeah, well, that's a classic too. So, you're Mullen is Irish. who goes by Ibn Wessler is not really Ibn Wessler. Exactly. He's Albert, a dangerous lunatic with multiple See, personalities. See, they're just outright disorder. saying it. This, uh, no, it's, uh, lads, the obviousness is just making me suspicious. Write another one of those novels about this. You mean Meredith? Oh, that's just what we need. <laughs> Once you sold your soul, it's too late to cry about it, sonny boy. That's what I keep telling him. Do you know Dr. Quetzal? Do you mean Professor Quetzal Coatlus? Yeah, <laughs> you laugh at this. But we went to university together. Yeah, did what? Do I not look the choice? Yeah, by dangerous you? lunatic, no, they mean you, was well, depressed I didn't mean once. That. I just uh, didn't know you uh, you went to university. I and then his family the ostracized him and he became a lunatic. A, a real one after that. That's when my father died. So that's why you know the animals so well. No, I know them well because I have a newspaper stand and I talk to hundreds of animals each day and I listen to the everyday problems of almost all of them. There's no better lesson in animal studies. You surprise me every time, old beaver. And what do you know about him? Can he be trusted? You're afraid he screwed you. He looks like a terribly dishonest snake, but don't let your prejudices overshadow what your waffle tells you. Quetzal's one of the kindest hearted and most honest animals I've ever known. That's good to know, Uncle Mullen. Or rather, uh, Professor Mullen. Hey, hey, hey. Don't get cocky with me, little chicky. What do you know about the Wessler Mansion, Uncle Mullen? That if you're about to go there, bring a tank with you. Or two. Dangerous, you mean? Dangerous? <laughs> That's a fortress, sort of. Giant walls, watchtowers, and of course, Wesley's hired pubs are waiting for you there. Yeah, sounds great. It's a beautiful place, I must admit. <laughs> At least you'll kick the bucket with mouths hanging open in wonder. That's something. Good attitude, my lad. Keep it. I didn't ask you about the asylum, it's fine. Oh. The color killers. Um, an achievement didn't pop for finding all of them, so I've missed at least one. Yeah. No hard feelings. What can I say, boy? I have a big, soft heart. You sure do, Ursula. Would you like a nice hot cup of tea? No, thanks. We just came to say goodbye. Why? You going somewhere? Traveling? Uh, no, we're just uh, visiting a uh, a nice place in the city. Sonny's gonna die. Shut up, Marty. So it's a case. Well, be careful, boys. And I'm sorry I snapped at you the last time. You don't need to say that. Why don't you well. come with us? We'll we stand behind you. You're a good boy, Sonny. And Marty's a downright saint. Oh, come on, Ursula. Stop that. Hey, Bubo. Hello, old man. <laughs> Is he asleep? But his eyes are open. <sighs> Bubo! <laughs> hey, what is it? I, I wasn't sleeping. You were something. What the hell are you doing here, chickens? Sonny wanted to say hi before he suffers an unpleasant death of lead poisoning later tonight. Not what tonight, it's dawn. clock up, Marty. You're not funny. I am a little bit. You're going to Wessler's, huh? Bingo. We're gonna put an end to this madness. Ooh. Or you're stirring up an even bigger madness, am I right? Well, that's always a possibility. Get yourself killed for all I care, but don't come here covered in blood. Because I'm not gonna open the door for you, I swear. Oh, thanks for the support, old fart. Don't mention it, yo, kizzard. Good talk. So, we're looking for more evidence? 
No, I was just thinking we could take another look. You know, just in case. Mm, okay, sure. But... Don't even ask, Marty. You're really becoming sentimental. One more word and I swear I'm... Yep, I'm gonna shut it. You don't want to go in there just like that. It's a closed crime scene. I hope you're just messing with me, Marty. Of course I'm messing with you. Let's get inside there and see how much the boys have messed up the place. Nice. You know, Sonny, when we entered the room and saw the girl... Deborah. Yeah, her body. I called you every name in the book inside my head. I just had enough, you know? I wanted to quit. What kept you with me? Was it just curiosity? No. I just wanted to see your downfall, boss. I wanted to be there when you met your end, get humiliated or even shot. Wow. Well, thanks for your honesty, Marty. But then everything changed on the ship. On the ship? Why there? I don't know. Being tied up with you, waiting for certain death. I know I lashed out at you, but in truth, I felt there was no place I'd rather be. It was my place on that fucking burning ship with you, even if we both died there. Know what I mean? Not I at all, I no. Do, Marty. I think I do. So, I guess there's nowhere to go but forward, huh? Nothing left to do but kill a rat. As the chicken police. For the last time? For the last clucking time, partner. Swear? I swear. All right. Let's hit the road. Achievement unlocked. Shadows from the past. Okay, I must have to go from there. From here. Um, or maybe not. Trigger was the toughest decision of my life. You mean when you shot me? Yeah. But it wasn't hard, because you thought you'd kill me. Not at all, Sonny. I knew you'd survive. I wanted it to be a permanent injury and hurt like clucking hell. But I knew that everything would change from then on. That something was gonna break between us? Yeah. Hello, Vice President. And that I was never gonna we be We are the at the point of either. no return. With that shot, I also gunned down who I was, you know? It really did hurt like hell. I know. I almost bled to death. Almost was the goal. And? Did you manage to forgive me since then? Well, what hurt me wasn't what you did. I mean, of course it did, but what hurt the most was you not trusting me. That you didn't believe me. Not until you pulled the trigger. At that moment, <clears throat> I knew you were right. Ah, cluck. Yeah, cluck. Ah, right, enough sentimental crap. We have an insane rat waiting to be put behind bars, and a woman you gotta get. I've watched nothing well, of Ark or on, whatever. No. Nope. Even a blind bat can see it. It doesn't interest me oh, at all. Well, clock again. Yep. I just unlocked the same achievement again? Hang on a minute. Oh, Shadows of the Past 1, and then that was Shadows of the Past 2. Okay. 20% of people talked to Marty there that played this game. To this point, which is the end. Although, granted, I did it because I didn't know what to do. <clears throat> how, how do I get to the end? I think I need to like get outside of this building, but the door is here and I can't examine it. I can't even recognize the city in daylight. Like a raving lunatic while asleep. The last time I was in this office, I got stuck here because I wasn't sure what to do. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Very funny. <laughs> funny because it's true. A 
119 days left, Marty, and I'm out of here. As soon as I get my <laughs> dead papers, I'm leaving. He's at sight. On the first flight. Ah, you know, I envy you a little. Eh, it's not going to be the real thing. Not on my own. Oh, sorry. Why don't you take Natasha with you? Huh. What are you even talking about? Come on, Sonny. Cut the act. Aha! You just had to cancel out. I see we're ready. You'll need a shotgun for this kind of deal, Marty. Maybe even that won't be enough. Nothing to fear while Bertha's here. Even less because you're here too with Mr. Sinclair, of course. Should I cry? That would be nice for a change. Ah, Her Majesty Bertha the Second. My drumstick still hurts every time I see her. Be glad you're alive. Bertha rarely leaves witnesses. It's a little outdated, but I understand why you're so attached to it. It can pierce the skin of a rhino, Marty, and the rust brings back memories. I'm a man of bad habits. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm one of your bad habits. Rest assured, Marty, you are. I mean, this is just the stuff in my inventory. How do I leave? I just realized. Ibn at the Tsar Club. Yes, Marty. Albert's been Ibn for a long time now. Do you remember what Natasha said about him? That he's been acting strange recently? Exactly. Like, he's not himself anymore. It was almost hitting us in the face, huh? Don't blame yourself, Marty. We couldn't have figured that out just by ourselves. The whole story's too twisted for that. Well, it's how we make our living, Sonny. And I'm sure we'll have plenty more twisted cases to come. Who knows, Marty? It's you just talked earlier about how this is the last time. It's mostly not up to us, in fact. Yeah, right. So, what's the plan? We shove the letter in our theory in his face and see what happens? Something like that, Marty. I think our presence will be enough for the truth to come out. I really hope you're right, Boss Bird. We have no other choice. So I hope so, too. Do you think it's a love triangle? I mean, could Natasha love Albert as well? Good question, Marty. But I don't think so. When I first spoke to Natasha, she told me she loved Ivan in her own way. In her own way, huh? And could she love two rats in her own way? Sorry, I'm fiddling with Maybe. my infinity cube. Maybe she even suspected the truth, but didn't dare admit it, even to herself. Hmm. All right, we have the location. So, what do you think, now that it's clearer? I don't know, Marty, but I believe Natasha didn't mean to be bad. Not intentionally, at least. I'm not as sure of that as you are, boss, but... We'll find that out pretty soon, I guess. I think Natasha was very much aware that wherever she goes... Thank you, Google Vice President, for 43 months for the Tier 1 sub. But it's not her fault. any comment here too tired to be funny. About it. Me, IRL. There are people like that. Really? You don't say. Someone remarkably similar came to mind right now. You mean me, right? Who can even read minds? Maybe you're right, Marty. Maybe you're right. The sun was shining, and all the ducks were in a row. I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly over. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? Well, if you don't know where to go, 
go straight ahead. It's possible Natasha knew and what could possibly tricked go wrong? or convinced Albert to kill Ibn. And then knew that Albert would be caught, so then she would take control of the Empire. The criminal Empire, that is. It could be something Here like I that. I am, Natasha. I hope you're waiting for me. Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but wow. Half the city is in his hands, Marty. And half the Council of Twelve. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. I'm sure Wessler's expecting us. And Natasha, too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? I've had worse. Really? No. Brat Knight? Huh. One of Wessler's ancestors, maybe. Wessler's ancestors were poor cobblers. More likely, this represents what he thinks of himself. I wonder how chivalry is compatible with organized crime. Have you played Payday 2? planning to leave the underworld. When his twin brother tore out his tongue, poked out his eye, killed him, and took his place? Yeah. Hey, not so fast, chickens. Please excuse my partner. He didn't mean to be rude, it's just his uh, terrible habits, as you may already know. Well, we already spoke to him, but we haven't ever spoke to him. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them? Tommy guns? Oh yeah, now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces. Twice. Exactly. <sighs> what are you doing here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, the lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yeah, that's so horny. In that case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sight while there are still feathers on your skin, chickens. Because he's innocent of now, this crime, they really aren't, though. Anymore. Until we didn't know his name because we hadn't met him before. He just shot at us a few times, so his name is Gabriel, and that's Archibald. This must lead to Wessler and Natasha's suite. Well, let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. No need for that, Marty. We'll wait until they invite us in, like real gentlemen. Then maybe we'll need the guns, but I hope it won't come to that. Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Relax, Marty. Someone is gonna pay. Tonight. It's not tonight, yeah. it's morning. Just don't let it be us. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get lost. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now, if you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Martin. Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger, and also her. Do you mean Natasha? Please calm down, miss. We have to talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? The cat appeared. I saw her. What do they not understand, Olivia? So, what is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler's very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Thank you, Miss, uh, Pitsenko. Please, Sonny. I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh... <clears throat> Please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin? It's all right, Olivia. These gentlemen are my friends. Yes. I said good Captain friends. Captain. Like friends with benefits. We're just going to talk to you at the top of the stairs? Fair enough. The truth is, Ibn isn't really in a good shape today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. 
Are you sure this can't wait? You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. So you know who left the threats? Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Zavas. Wild gods! Why didn't you tell us? Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Along with Molly? So you know. Yeah, I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was a trap. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. <laughs> Please don't say that. A price worth paying? You cannot think I had anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me what is going on. You have to know, right? <clears throat> Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. I'm having a rough morning after a long night. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long. To put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door is always open to the legendary chicken police. Please, uh, come on in, guys. Let's start talk in my room. Talk. Then this way. I like please. the way he talks. You just stay here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you to death. Please, uh, go and refresh yourself or uh, tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Yes, dear. Whatever you like. Please, uh, follow me, gents. Lead on, Wessler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. I don't know where he went, but he went into the stairs. So I'm just going to steal a collectible real quick. That's disturbing. Oh yeah, look, it's the painting. This painting? It's beautiful and rather provocative. Almost makes my comb stand up. I'm not surprised. But the corner is missing. You're right, Sonny. You're quite the observer. Well, yeah, this painting's unfortunately damaged. I don't know where the missing piece could be. You don't know? Well, if you're interested, we know exactly where it is. Really? Really. It's here with us. An insignificant little piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch? Because it's a monogram. A.W. That's... Albert, Albert Wessler. Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough! Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. Easy, Wessler. We'll get to that in a bit. So, uh, what do you want to know? The social type achievement. I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. Oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah. That's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. None taken. But tell me, are we going to flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah, so let's continue like that, shall we? What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times in the last 48 hours. With fire, with machine guns, I could go on. And while we're at it, you could answer some of our questions. If you've nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. And then we'll just leave you alone. All right. I'll go along with your childish little game. I would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway. So, can we start? With pleasure, Mr. Wessler. No, it's an I. Or, no, wait, sorry, it's an H for Hobart. I have no idea what she sees in you. 
But Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Yeah, she, uh, really worries more than usual. But it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, uh, since uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler, what Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same thing? What did you just say? What did you think, chicken? That I didn't know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, see? I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. I can even tell you who Molly's regulars were, if you're interested. You son of a bitch. Sonny, don't. Yes, detective? Not yet. You're right, Marty. It's not worth it. You're funny, you know that? About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. What did you say? My partner means that you and your brother are very much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, what does that have to do with the painting? We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. So Albert made the painting at your request, is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. This picture, it's rather strange, you know? Why do you think so? It's just me, Natasha, and my brother. The photo doesn't tell much in itself, yes. But if you already have the right information, suddenly it starts to talk. Really? He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who do you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions while he was painting the pictures. Were you there every time? I know that doesn't you make sense with what they think me? they know, but they're trying to you. trip him up. No. In this I instance. Mean, while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there all along. And do you think he could have fallen in love with Natasha? That's why he escaped? What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Eh, I have no idea. Did Natasha know? about what happened to your brother. No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wessler? I... Eh... Uh, why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me, you understand? We're just doing our job. Then do it clearly, and quickly. Yeah, I'm really starting to lose my patience. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. That's a big mistake. A classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. More like a confession in which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her, even the most horrible things. Yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad, insane. He's not a normal. No one would believe he's, he's not. Did he say not be normal? But they believe yours, right? Because you're not Albert Wessler, you're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. How dare you? Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get Natasha either. Am I right? What? What did you just say? She hates you, doesn't she? She doesn't know, she doesn't understand why, but she hates you. It's instinctive. Yeah, what do you know? Windows was done What could you possibly know about suffering and loneliness and the darkness? And being depressed one time. What could you know about hate, huh?
That's not questioning, that's a gun. Albert is an imposter. He's not who he says he is, <clears throat> and might not even know who he really is. I have what? To Don't you mean Evan is an imposter because it's Albert? Up. And to avoid us being shot in the gizzard, of course. What were you thinking, Albert? How long did you think you could keep it up? The rat's got a gun! Until the end of my life, it needs. Yeah, I cared about nothing except for her to love me. Not for who Ibn was, but for who I am. Why did you think that would happen? Everybody noticed the change. Yeah, I knew it would be hard, Santino. But I also knew animals see what they want to see. Eh, I didn't have to behave like Ibn. They only had to believe I'm him. Why did you decide to take your brother's place? Yeah, as you're curious. From the moment I laid eyes on Natasha for the first time. But I had to convince myself that this was the only way. You've never talked about your feelings for Natasha with your brother, am I right? Are you insane? He's a rat, yeah. Yeah, Abel would have had me killed immediately. And no one would ever... Oh yeah, I, it's literally so the first line where it said Ibn had a twin brother. I said, oh, it's Prince and the Pauper. Comfortable excuse. Comfortable? Do you think all of this was just some kind of cruel game for me? I had to destroy the person I loved and respected the I'm most. I'm still hoping there's going to be a twist. Cry me a river. You know, there's only a thin, fragile membrane between uh, well, love and Well, there can only be a twist with if Natasha now. If anything touches it, it tears immediately. You've felt like this before, haven't you? Eh, I can see it in your eyes. You can analyze me until the sun goes down, Wessler. But you won't get far with that. Yeah, evasive answer. So I'm right. He's cruel. No, it could be something like, um... Like Natasha did notice and didn't care and is using him to get power. Hmm, I don't know which one of these to pick. Did you ever it says concentrate on that you first. Were Ibn Wessler. Did I ever believe? I still do. I believed it all along. Don't you get it? I am Eben Wessler. And also, Albert Wessler. I see you're starting to understand. Okay, that was correct. <clears throat> so you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. Does it sound crazy? Maybe it is. But Eben lives inside me. Sometimes he's even stronger than Albert ever was. Do you think you can avoid the gas chamber with this, Albert? Eh, I don't have to avoid anything, Sonny. You and your friend, uh, will never leave this place. It's better if you start getting used to the thought. You're not the cold-blooded killer you'd like to think you are. Eh, you think so? Try me, detective. I don't know what one's picked there. Take his place and live happily ever after. Why, isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect, even in its imperfection. Which is? Ibn's ghost. Is... is what? Uh, please don't take it literally, Mr. Chicken. I'm not talking about, uh, spirits. When Ibn died, I didn't just take his place, but also his role. He himself, uh, his essence, if you will. Yeah, though I guess that's uh, too much for you to understand. So you mean Ibn's here with us even now? He was here all along. Don't you get it? I am Hobart Ibn Wessler. I must get serious. 
because looking at the gun and West I know this dude is trembling. Hand, I'm afraid I don't have much time. Albert is a cruel psychopath, but maybe I can turn that cruelty against him. Oh, he's also schizophrenic, though. When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? When I drew the last stroke on that fatal painting, Mr. Fenderland. When I glanced at it for the last time, and then at Natasha, who was shivering under the weight of my gaze. You simply fell in Wait, love with her? Wait, so she did her? know then. End of story? Not in the slightest, Mr. Fenderland. Love is, uh, just chemistry. What I felt was more than that. Everybody thinks that, Albert. But we all feel the same. We're just fools. No, Mr. Featherland, not at all. At that moment, I knew what I was going to do. I knew that the world was coming to an end if I didn't do it. It implodes on itself and ceases to exist. I couldn't let that happen. He's monologuing. He's allowed let to monologue. Have her, right? You simply wanted her for yourself. I wanted her for ourselves, Sonny. I was him by then. He just didn't know it yet. Imposter manipulator, cruel, wounded. What did you do that made Evan get you? I don't even know if this is the right answer. I'm just curious. detective. It just came to me, you know. Where did it all start? Where did all the hate and jealousy come from? Jealousy? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, come on, Albert. Alone, locked up at the end of the world, while your brother is one of the most influential figures of Clawville, driving an expensive he got car, once. living in a mansion, with the city's most desirable woman in his bed. Why wouldn't you be jealous? Yeah, Albert was jealous of Ibn. Maybe he still is. But I understand why he did it. Albert was beyond control and dangerous. What does that mean exactly? Albert did our mother wrong. Poor old mom. She never heard her fly. But Albert couldn't take that she was praising his brother all the time while Albert was just an unsuccessful, foolish, poor painter. What did you do? Oh no, to he didn't Albert? get enough commissions. Albert killed her. It looked like an accident, but uh, Emma knew it wasn't. That was the last straw. Albert had to be locked up, and he agreed. He never said no to his brother. But he never forgot who did this to him either, did he? Ibn was really good to him. Visited him every week. Did everything he could. Even introduced Natasha in the end. And that was his downfall. Both of them, Sonny. And yours, too. I got plus five. Did you hate Ibn or yourself more, Albert? Albert hated himself the most ever since he was born. He, uh, he idolized Ibn. But every time his brother stood before him, he saw what he could have been himself if he had enough strength. But he didn't. Albert had always been a coward, a, a pitiful nobody. And now? Finally, there's no more Albert. And no more Ibn either. It's only me, and for both of them, I'm perfect. Can it be that... The fear is making you say these things, Albert. Stop calling me that. I have to call you something. What should I call you? What name should I use? Uh, I, I don't know anymore. I, I don't. I'm very close to breaking him. But if I'm too hard on him, I could quickly be signing my death warrant. It's time to dig a little bit deeper and uncover Wessler's wounds. Yeah, that, that's, uh, don't, don't bait him into shooting you. Natasha was kind to you, right? Too kind. Natasha was uh, simply amazing, gentle, kind, lively, but still so uh, distant. You're telling me. It's like she was from another world. A world where everything's full of charm and grace and everything's fragile and delicate. Uh, do you understand? I think I do, yes. I knew Albert's touch would harm her. Albert is rough. Albert can't keep such a delicate thing in his arms. That's why you had to become Ibn, am I right? I didn't take Ibn's place, Mr. Featherland. I became one with him, can't you see? 
It's the only way I can comprehend and accept the miracle that was Natasha. Was? I... I think I've corrupted her. She's not that gentle and pure creature I painted on the canvas anymore. I ruined her. She became rotten under my hands. Hmm. Maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. No. You can't understand this. She can't either. I killed Ibn, but he also killed me. Can't you see? We're nothing without each other. You can't be two people at the same time, Albert. Nobody can bear the weight of the sins of two souls. Ibn loved her. I admired her. Ibn was crazy about her. I've been crazy for a long time. Ibn idolized her, and I hated her. And if there's anything more blind, more devoted, more extreme, and more true than love, it could only be hate, Mr. Featherland. It's an endlessly exciting, thrilling, and warm feeling. And infinitely red. Just like love. You know you're not gonna be able to go through with it, right? That you won't be able to carry the weight. But you still did it. Why? Yeah, if I didn't kill him and become one with him, Albert would have died, Mr. Featherland. And the threats? Which one of you was that? Albert or Ibn? Who wrote them? And which one of you killed Deborah? In my world, Ibn and I are inseparable. Just like love and hate are one and the same. And I hate Natasha so much that I could destroy myself along with her, just so she would die with me. Are you familiar with this feeling, Mr. Featherland? More than life itself. You see? We're not so different. We're not so different, you and I. You and I have nothing in common, Wesler. You know why? Why, Mr. Featherland? Because if I were in your shoes, I would have pulled the trigger a long time ago. Goodbye, Sonny. So long, Albert. Sherlock Holmes, I believe I got 100%. Wait, that says 90. I'll take it. I just shot him. Because Murray with his giant shotgun was invisible for this scene. So, you heard everything. I heard everything. I'm sorry I had to find out like this. And thank you. If it weren't for you... Oh, Murray's yes, back from being <laughs> incorporeal. I know. But believe me, I still thought carefully before firing. About who to target? You know, <clears throat> I truly loved Ibn. But this man wasn't him. You felt it, didn't you? Maybe I even knew it. I don't know. But I still can't believe it. It won't be easy to process for any of us. I'm sorry I dragged you into Except this. Except those of us who realize instantly. Regarding Molly? <clears throat> uh... Da, da, da. The cops? But how? How do they know? The crow called them. I have them. no idea, Marty. Or she did. I'm gonna guess the crow. Look at me. I did not call them. Olivia? Don't worry, Natasha. They won't lay a finger on you. I promise. Please, Sonny. You don't need to worry about me. I don't want to be rude, Sonny, but I'm more worried about us than her. Hello, boss. The dame Hello, with boys. the loaded gun achievement. Now, before you say anything, we can explain. No need for that, Sangino. Monica already told me everything. Monica? Hey, boys. What were you thinking? That I would just let you get killed without saying goodbye? Thanks, Mon. Should we say we uh, owe you one? You know already, boys. Shoes are my weakness. Hey, mine too. Now, of all that's furry, we don't want to hear that. And boys... Uh, yes, boss? Don't believe you'll get away with it so easily. I want a report on my desk from both of you with all the details. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It'll all make sense, believe us. Right after I figure out myself what the hell just happened. 
What Marty's trying to tell you is that we had good reason to investigate outside the law. But we're sorry. What happened to you, Sonny? You're sorry? Did you hit your head? Why does everybody keep asking that? Why indeed. So can we go now, boss? Without getting handcuffed? Don't give me ideas, Santino. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Farewell, my lovely. Hang on, I want to check those achievements. Complete chapter 4, so we haven't seen the ending yet. Only 33% of people have made it this far through the game. Get to the point where Natasha kills Arbor Wessler, so 33% of people have got that as well. That's either means there's an alternative, or people just haven't played this far. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes unlocked for finishing the game with zero failed questions. Uh, I definitely did not do that, but I'll take it. How the hell did you find your way here, Tim? Always where the trouble is. There's still an achievement Sometimes for the ending, so yeah, it's not, it's not quite mastermind over yet. behind all the dark dealings in this city. <laughs> I wish. I wish too, because then we could legally throw you in jail. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Sonny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So, where did you get the scoop? Are you kidding me? The whole city's talking about you. You've left quite the mess behind. That, I admit. Well, it's a miracle that all of the city smear sheet journalists aren't here already. Oh, while we're at it, will you give me an excuse? Oh, that's what it could mean, yeah, if Fuck not off, below. Kid. Like, I don't think I got any hey. below the line. So, what now? Where to next? I think I should mourn, right? You should. But I don't know what to feel anymore, Sonny. I understand, Natasha. You know, if you need anything... Yes, I know where to find you. See you around, sweetheart. Ma'am? Goodbye, detectives. Could you tell me where my ex-her of an ex-wife went to? Thanks again, Mon. If not for you, those fur heads would have put holes in us. No wonder, since you put holes in there, boss. Well, actually, that wasn't us. Then who was it? Natasha. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought it of her. It's a pleasant surprise. It was for us too, believe me. What? Are you waiting for me to change my mind? I wanted to pack yeah, you and no give you a sir. treat. Then stop packing around here. Yes, sir. No, no, he just knew that she was an ex-prostitute as well. Uh, how do I leave? That. Hey, Olivia. Marty. I just uh, wanted to thank you. For what exactly? For trying to save us. I didn't do it only for you, believe me. I loved my job while I had it. Now my employee is dead, so I don't have a job anymore. I didn't even. Don't think say of peck. That. That's rude. Of course you didn't. Can I do anything to help? I think I'll manage. I always do. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. We're honestly very sorry it had to end like this. Yeah, this peacefully. For myself, I'm glad, gentlemen. I would have sincerely regretted it if we had to shoot both of you, but unfortunately, that seemed to be the only solution to this uh, rather nasty situation. Fortunately, it didn't turn out that way. Joyful. Don't think Archibald is the best character. For long chickens. Whistler may be dead, but his empire still won't crumble. Oh, look at that. He can talk. In complex sentences, too. Yeah, or something like that. Amazing. <laughs> You're a good boy, Bosco. <laughs> nice work. You know, folks, somebody's got to take care of the real police work while you're tearing up the city. Sorry for the mess, Bosco, but you know us. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. How did you catch them? After the gunshot, I was sure these two would show up. They have a habit of doing that. They were already in cuffs before then, Sonny. We had the house surrounded. If you could have hung on, maybe nobody would have died. 
Hey, a second longer and it would have been us. <laughs> That's your story. Clock you sideways, Bosco. I, I would like my ending now, please. But is it really over? See, there you go. I can't leave. Is this a mansion? Or a grand palace? Or a small city? Well, if it comes to hide and seek, Old West Probably should have got that before the ending, huh? A serious advantage. The longest I've been stuck in this game is trying to work out how to leave a scene. And what about you, Sonny? I'll go home and sleep. Maybe for three days. I'll try to forget. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. If there's anything I can do. I'm not sorry, Natasha. It's better this way. We find out painful truths, but at least we see clearly now, don't we? Yes, I think you're right. Still not enough, okay. But just one quote, guys. They say you've taken down the whole Wessler Empire. They say... I say you're full of shit, Tim, and you can quote me on that. <laughs> How did you know we were here? I always pay attention, Sonny. And because I know you like you are my own nestlings. No, oh, I love it when you say pretty little things like that. Don't get used to it, Marty. Do we need to talk to the end? Nice catch, Bosco. You can mount them on your wall as trophies. Yeah, I wish I could, Sonny. If there's anything at all... Thank you, Martin. <clears throat> there's no need for that. I hope we'll meet again, gentlemen. So do I, Shakespeare. And uh, while you're sitting in your cell, you could teach your famous manners to your friend, too. Maybe I will, Mr. Featherland. I certainly hope so, pal. I'm the person I haven't spoken to twice is him. Santino, you're doing that on purpose? No, sir. Never, sir. Then get the fuck <clears throat> out of here. I'm trying to. The game won't let me. Thank you. We thank you, Natasha. You saved our lives. But it was also me who endangered you in the first place, right? Well, I won't argue about that. But just one quote, guys. Yeah, yeah that's for being itself. Thank you. We, yeah, that's well, for being I itself. Won't... So, uh... What's your shoe size? Okay, this is new dialogue. 35, Sonny. I like high heels. And because there's two of you, two pairs will do for a start. You can talk to everyone anything for until you, the darling. dialogue repeats. I don't want just anything, Marty. I want shoes. Yes, ma'am. Santino. No, sir. Thank okay, you. he's repeating. See you at the PD. At the PD. Oh, this is Ned. Yeah. So they're all repeating now. If there's anything that's repeating. Nice cat. Yeah, I wish I could. So long, guys. That's repeating. Maybe because I didn't look at the mansion. Yeah. Strange. I'm right clicking to try and like back out again. Oh, there we go. You, what are you doing here? I was just driving around. Thought you'd you know, be dead. Trying to feed your grandpa. So, was it a case? 
Were you, uh, maybe investigating us? What can I say, Sonny? <clears throat> Am I busted? Did someone hire you to follow us? I just had to keep an eye on you and not get involved. That's all. I admit there were a couple of crazy situations when it was hard not to. But you managed somehow, right? <laughs> he left us on the board. Professional's a professional, my friend. Yeah, thanks. So you won't tell us who hired you, whatever we do. Unfortunately, I can't, my friend. I made a promise. You and Natasha, your promises. probably? Some people still take him seriously. You're a real piece of guano. You know that? Of course. Oh, does he? I've learned everything from you, you old fart. I think I have an idea who hired you, Phil. Hey, stop it right there. I don't want to know who you think. Oh, I'm afraid alone? your reaction would give you away. <laughs> you wish, pal. So, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. The chicken police in the flesh. Damn it, Tim. Drop it and cluck off. Oh, no, boys. This time, you deserve it. What the cluck did you say, boss? Stand up straight and try to look like someone who's glad to be alive. Uh, yes, sir. We'll try. Ooh, attention, chicken police. Say cheese. Credits? The following animal species were not included in this game. Okay. The Corquin robber frog? That's a serious accusation you're making there, buddy. Most because during development of the game, all these species were just. Oh, I see. There was a hidden message about extinction. These names are foreign. That explains the the differentiation between the subtitle and spoken line. Look at that evolution of the character. They think the robber frogs are extinct, but there's at least one left. Allegedly. Oh, that cat has Natasha's face, that's disturbing. It was a fun game, the writing was a bit overplaced and the twist was so insanely obvious it's a bit disappointing, but it was fun, it was interesting. I didn't really know what message to have though. An end credit extinction message message along with like racism and whatnot that isn't addressed, it's just there. I mean maybe that in itself was the, what they were going for, but Nicolette McKenzie, is that the lady who voiced Anna in Overwatch? Oh, the person who voiced Ibn was also Archibald. I still don't trust the rabbit, neither do I. He's clearly an assassin. He's going to be starring in Hitman 3 next year. be an after credits stinger though. And I believe there might be. Poor Lewis just garrots someone. 
To be continued. Well, maybe not then. Natasha. You were expecting me, weren't you? I wouldn't say that, but I'm not surprised. I just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> About what exactly? You know very well. Molly. What do you think, Natasha? Why didn't she tell me? Because she loved you. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, she may have never left the place. Perhaps she'd still be there. Ah, sheep shit. We used to dream about falling in love with a nice man who comes and saves us someday. A knight in shining armor. You know, like, like in the fairy tales. And how did that work out for you? She fell in love with a good guy. I didn't. I envy her. I'm not that good guy, Natasha. But if it's any consolation, she could have found him. Maybe she's living with him right now. Somewhere on the other side of the world. Well, goodbye, Sonny. So long, sweetheart. Hey, Natasha, you have a light? I've been trying to smoke this sorry-ass cig all day. It's driving me crazy. Maybe you don't really need it. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe. That was the perfect chance for a cigarette? Yes, I know. Oh no, he had a booty call and he didn't realize it. Alright, that was chicken police painted red.